Hi guys, Delphontra XYZ, and we are continuing with Knack, and now we're on Chapter 9. Just a bit further now. Let's go in quietly this time. Understood. Ryder and Lucas have already reached the wasteland. Once we get wrapped up here, we'll go and join them. Oh. Knack, why don't you go and see what you can do about opening that gate? All right, now we're in some familiar territory. And after all, we're next to the Goblin Factory. Well, actually, we're right outside the Goblin Factory. And pretty much this whole first part is just trying to get access to it. Although, judging from the last shot in the cutscene, it didn't really look too tall. I mean, I think the dog could have just boosted Knack up. But, oh well, I guess he needed to buy some more game time. So far, I just see these small goblins. Uh, not much of a real threat. And it kind of looks like I'm near maybe the side of the factory. Maybe like the lookout area, I guess. Oh, well, look at that. My unlock just finally came up. You know, I haven't really been playing much of Nax Quest. I mean, to be honest, I don't really see a point in me playing it anymore, I mean, just to unlock new stuff. I mean, I'd say it's a fun game every once in a while, but... I don't know. It kind of lost its charm ever since I completed this game. Yeah, I know these hidden areas are really pretty obvious now. Oh, really? I actually still took damage from that? I, mean, I really need some more relics. I can't afford to get hit now. Oh, I think luckily this is the end of 9-1. This is probably one of the shortest chapters in the game. Uh, well, it certainly took a long time and a great deal of effort, but we're finally here. 
Our target is nothing less than the complete destruction of Gundahar's manufacturing capability and all existing inventory of weapons. So, where would you like to start? Hmm. How about... That building. Ha, good. All right, chapter nine two. Supposed to be a weapons factory. Well, I do see tanks in the background at least. <laughs> Looks to be some kind of factory for weapons parts. Oh, yeah. I was hoping to see some actual machinery working on the weapons parts. But I'm kind of questioning what specifically are they making? Like, what weapons? I mean, I know they have tanks and stuff, but I'm talking about actual, like, firearms as well. Well, that's different. I have metal knack. <laughs> nice. I gotta say, it looks pretty amazing. Looking good, knack. Well, that was disappointing. I mean, I just got metal neck like 30 seconds ago and I already lost all the parts. And actually, that's the thing I don't really understand. I mean, why is it there's always something that can prevent us from collecting any more unique you know, parts from that? You know, it could be either the sun, it could be fire, or it could be giant magnets. It always has to be so convenient. Oh yeah, I remember these uh, magnets. Luckily they don't take my parts, but they do affect my speed.
And I can say we just replaced the whole elevator gimmick with the relics with a, I don't know, a compactor. Man, there's just magnets all over the place. It's kind of a bad thing when I have to face enemies. Well, look at the giant sunstone crystals in the bank. I kind of wonder how much energy I would get for those. I'm kind of wondering how massive is this factory. I mean, there must be a lot of goblins running this place. Oh, thank god. Got Metal Knack again. Oh, but I do see one of those compactors in the back. So I guess we're just doing the same thing again. Well, another endurance round. And this one's probably more challenging. Now I have to defeat the enemies while avoiding the magnets. Not really too bad, but just gotta keep an eye on both at the same time. That's uh, pretty massive right there. <laughs> Two sets of magnets going on at once. No, oh, but conveniently they have switches right next to it. 
Come on, I think the game developers were getting a little bit lazy at this point. Oh, it's good. I'm back outside. Oh yeah, I remember this uh, specific area right here. I think I missed it the first time. I mean, this is probably one of the few instances where they actually did a somewhat decent job of hiding the secret rooms. Hello, Doctor. Charlotte! Oh. But, but how? Do you mean what happened after you left me to die? Wait, what? After I fell into the chasm, goblins found me and brought me to their leader, Gundahar. He nursed me back to health. Well, mostly anyway. This leg never really was the same again. Charlotte, I searched for you for weeks. If I didn't find you, it's because you were already gone. So you say. It's the truth! So, what about all this? Gundahar needed my help, and I gave it to him. First, I made better weapons and better armor, so he could defend himself against those goblin tribes that would hurt him. And later, I made other things. You know the weapons you have built? have been used against our settlement. I know, now. I guess Gundahar took care of his enemies in the Goblin Tribes and began looking for a way to take revenge on humans for the Crystal Wars. As soon as I learned, I stopped. Charlotte, I am so sorry for everything. But whatever happened, we're together again now. Please, we don't have much time. Come with me. No. What? Why not? I've caused far too much suffering and destruction. I'm not fit for human company any longer. No, don't be silly! No! I see. If you ever change your mind, please, call me. No matter where I am, I will come for you. I promise. Goodbye, Doctor. All right, chapter nine three, and I gotta say that last chapter took a long time, and it must have been at least ten minutes. Well, at least it was a surprise seeing Charlotte was still alive all this time. I mean, I actually thought she was dead.
You're gonna need to stay far back so you don't get electrocuted. Better yet, I'll meet you up top that hill. I'm guessing that's where we'll find Gundahar. Electrocution here would be a fitting end. She doesn't love me anymore. Well, I'm no human, but it seems a bit more complex than that. Now you make sure you're long gone before the fireworks start. <sighs> ah! all right, all right, all right. I'm going already. Go on. Don't mind me. I just lost the love of my life. <laughs> Hmm. Actually, I didn't think the uh, sunstones have an electrical property to them. I mean, maybe it's just the specific ones here at the factory, I guess. Actually, I'm kind of wondering why did the dock and Nax separate in the first place? I mean, couldn't they just both gone up the same mountain? Well, it's convenient that there's a lot of metal around me. I mean, I can use more health. And even the giant snowstorm crystals in the back. Although the magnets are going to be a problem. I mean, what was the point of giving me the metal if I'm going to lose it anyway? I mean, I sometimes question this game's logic. That's more like it. Time to take care of a few tanks and planes. I'm guessing I'm in the hangar where everything is stored, all the tanks and planes and all the weapons probably. And speaking of tanks, got one right here. I guess they're beefing up the security. Well, so far the enemies have switched from goblins to straight up machines and tanks. Nark, you've destroyed half my army in Monteverde. Now you've come to finish the job. Why? You ask why. You destroy human outposts and invaded their cities. And for what? Sunstones and relics? Nark. Merely righting or wrong. Today, goblins live primitive lives in the forests and mountains. But before the Crystal Wars, we had our cities and our civilization. I simply seek to return to those times. And I'm simply here to show you that attacks on the humans will not be ignored. You are their tool! 
We have lived in the wastelands long enough. Destroy this monster. I gotta say, it's probably the most tanks I've ever fought in one area. And at the same time, it's pretty sad how easily they can be taken out. Who knows, it must have been made out of cheap metal or something. Well, I gotta say, either Nax very strong or the Chiefs are just very useless. I, I got surprised, this chapter's still going on. Thought it would have been over by now. Gundahar is directing operations from that tower. Hmm. Let's go have a chat with him. <laughs> well, I'm glad seeing the dock is okay. And I'm actually think I'm close to the end of this. Actually, I'm kind of surprised there's no endurance round or anything like this. I mean, like, I'm right outside Gundahar's place. Kind of thought there'd be, like, a whole barrage of tanks and goblins going after me. I mean, really, where's the security at a time like this?
wasn't sure that would work. What took me 20 years to build, your creature took 20 minutes to destroy. Do you love destruction so much, Doctor? When destruction brings peace, yes. Yes, I do. Even if I'm defeated, peace won't come. Goblins will rise against humans. What happened today won't prevent that revolution. No, but it will delay it. Some rebalancing has to happen, yes, but your way is not the way. Naughty, naughty. I will be fine. Right, guys, this looks like the end. So I picked this up again with chapter 10. This is Dill Hunter XYZ, and until next time. We fought a long time before he can build up again. Now, let's go find that key.